going to have the first ever drop-in center in the state of Hawaii. The city plans to turn this industrial building in Ivale into permanent supportive housing for the homeless. The four-story building located on Kuwili Street will have a hygiene center on the first floor where the homeless will be able to take showers, use the bathrooms, and do their laundry. You know, one of the things that we do take for granted um, is the ability to take a shower and, um, and wash our clothes. And when you're living on the streets and when you've been camping out on the streets for a long time, I think one of the biggest challenges is finding that safe place uh, to be able to take a shower and wash your clothes. And so uh, we're, what we are doing here is we're going to be offering that space to people and we're going to be giving out those showers to people and giving them their dignity back one shower at a time. Last year, the city opened its first hygiene center in Chinatown. The mayor says it works well and about 70 people use it every day. It works well, but think about this site. We're going to have an ability to have 200 people come in here and take a shower, wash their clothes and those kinds of things. A real game changer. No other place in the city and county of Honolulu or the state of Hawaii has this. Area business owners and residents are hopeful that the city's plan will help ease the growing homeless problem surrounding them. I couldn't get down the sidewalk just now. We had a sweep on Monday. They came back on Monday afternoon. Their tents are up and I can't use the sidewalk. So. What I'm hoping for is to be able to get from point A to point B without having to go around people, without having to watch people urinate across the street from me. Ivalais uh, has been ground zero for a lot of these issues that um, this center is going to address. So I applaud the mayor, I applaud the council uh, for bringing the resources together to, to do this. And we look forward to uh, working with the rest of the community and uh, this center uh, to provide uh, health, safety, dignity for our homeless population and, and for the employees in this, in this area as well. We're hoping that this new effort on Kowili Street in this building is going to start to address that, that issue. 35 supportive housing units will be built on the third and fourth floors of the building. Caldwell says a state will provide supportive services such as mental health care, counseling and substance abuse treatment for homeless clients. The population we targeted are those who are chronic, chronic homeless folks. The ones that are most challenged to try to get through their lives. They're addicted to drugs and alcohol, they have mental illness problems and we're hoping that as they drop in to get themselves clean and as they go to the second floor for help and direction they can move up to the third and fourth floor where they can be housed. These people are, are everyone from the guy living on the street in a tent today to those working homeless that are trying to keep a job and not, um, they don't have the means to be able to wash their clothes or take a shower every day, but they're able to keep a job because at, at a certain place like this, they're able to do that. They're, they're able to be among the working class out there and, and keep that job and feed a family and put clothes on the backs of their children. And so that's the goal. You know, hopefully this is the first step in their road to not being homeless. The 43,000 square foot Evelay building cost the city a little over $6 million.